and it's a beautiful day in Saigon. You know, I can only see things so many times on social media. So like TikTok, Reels, any short form media, they have this banyu right here. We're at banyu tanda. We're here down in District 5. So mainly where you've seen it is people will go to the owner's home. Uh, an older man, like a chu, go to his home and he's got this old cart which they've set here at their main location now. And they're selling what is like a banyu, but it's most famous for its hand and flavor. So you can see they still got the like old school cart here. They brought to the main location where they sell. You can see that batter right now, how green it is with that pandan and it's fragrant. It's fragrant when you get in here. Even when you get close, you can smell that pandan. And these are these little, almost like cast iron skillets he's gonna use. I think he has some in there, some batter in there right now. I'm gonna cook it right up. We got the clay pot, got the charcoal going, and right here in the cast iron. Now the funny thing is, I think is like, like we're out, we would use a glove in America. It almost looks like he has just like, some extra gene material he's going to use to keep his fingers from burning look right, right there see right now he's got the actual pans going he's going to heat them up because what he's going to have to do is put that lid on top it wants to cook evenly fragrant that pandan is when it comes out so that batter you see it th how thick it is it's kind of runny kind of like a pancake batter but what it's going to be is a rice flour i'm sure they're going to have some type of coconut i don't know if they actually use more of like coconut cream or they're just going to use coconut water and then of course that layu or that pandan yeah and so while they're cranking out like kind of the shells, the beauty of this place is it's not just this. You got all different types that you can get. They do have like an original as well, but they're most famous for getting it with the pandan. So that's your base. And then you get to pick your fillings here. You got just coconut, uh, like a butter sugar. They got basu. I don't even know how to translate that. With the actual coconut, they got coconut with peanut butter. And they got durian with the coconut as well. Like I said, they've been a staple here since 1980 people are starting to get after it now they just pull them off gonna let them rest right here cool off a little bit and they're gonna get the stuff at them uh, yeah À, một cái sao riêng và một cái bơ phòng Con muốn ăn thử đủ vị không? À, dạ muốn Đủ vị là đủ combo Dạ, được, được Xích tay Đúng rồi Tập cẩm đây là nè, Đây là tập cẩm Phải không? Sao có một hộp tập cẩm Dạ Cả hết vị ở đây Ok, được Một hộp 60 năm 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 Rồi, cảm ơn cô nha À, đúng. Không bán ở nhà hàng này bao nhiêu năm rồi? Không biết. Mới có 7 tháng à. Bây nào mà đây? Đó bán ở đường. Ờ ở quận 8. Bán ở lề đường. Ờ. À. 20 mấy 30 năm rồi. Oh yeah. Okay, so they'll get you ready. Man, y'all, I feel a little claustrophobic in here. They're getting in, they're rolling in. People are already it's like 9 in the morning people are rolling in. They got to get their bánh nướng. So you can see that grated coconut almost looks like it's got a little something mixture in there maybe a little something sweet a little sugar but they're gonna pack it in there for you look at that the way they're just pushing it down in there and it's crazy to see this is they've been here seven months already so not long ago they were just still selling at their house and it was just getting too crowded too crazy too much of a demand so they had to move out here and we are on like a main road here out on district 5 like this is one of the main roads Hong Bang. 
Yeah, that's right. And then now we got this huge setup here. It's just so cool to see like a mom and pop shop. Like you used to see all the all the videos of Chu like making it, and now they got workers for them. They got people where there's just almost like an assembly line here. So it's cool to see that it's like grown and flourished into this. Yeah. Yeah. This is the person I was talking about. He just came up. I've seen him all over social media. Do cho ta dễ chọn lựa nữa, cho nó đa dạng chút xíu đi cho khách ta chọn lựa. Chứ hồi xưa đó, hồi 40 mấy năm về trước á, không có nhiều nhân đâu, chỉ có nhân dừa thôi à, không có gì hết á. Không có gì chọn lựa vô cái ăn với cái từ từ người ta cũng nhàm. Rồi cái thời gian người ta khoảng mấy ngày sau là từ lấy xong thì mới ăn lại. Còn bây giờ mình làm cho nó có nó đa dạng nhiều nhân, nhiều là có lá dứa có đầy đủ hết luôn. Người ta bữa ra cái này, mang cái kia, có cái nọ, người ta sẽ có sự chọn lựa. Đó, mình mình cũng dễ bán. À, bây giờ chú bán tầm mấy giờ đến mấy giờ? À, sáng 8 giờ, bán tới chiều à, có khi à, 5 giờ, có khi 6 giờ, có khi 7 giờ, nó vô chừng lắm. Yeah. Có bữa hết xóm, có bữa hết trễ. Yeah. Mấy bữa chợ mưa hả, bán tới 8 giờ tối luôn á. Yeah. Đừng có chợ mưa thì đỡ lắm, đừng chợ mưa thì đâu, 4 năm giờ nó thấy về chú nghỉ rồi. Chợ mưa cái không ai ra đường vắng lắm. Ờ, mình bán phải xong. Bây giờ thiếu bán chính ở đây hả chú? Đây. Bây giờ một điểm một tập trung, tập trung một điểm một luôn. Yeah. Bây giờ khách tới là có, thế là có. Yeah, yeah hồi trước chú bán bên tảng đà nữa, giờ có khi có khi ở nhà nướng trễ giờ bánh chưa có ra kịp, giờ người ta khách bán tảng đà mua cái không có bánh nữa, cũng bất tiện cho khách nữa. Thành ra bây giờ thôi, mình ra đi một chỗ một luôn đi. Cứ khách tới là có khách tới là có. Mua nhiều cái này rồi đó. Ở bên đây nước nước sao nó vô bên kia, vô bên kia là nó bỏ nhân luôn. Nhưng mà mình cũng phải để cái bánh cho nó hơi ráo chút xíu, vì vậy nó nóng quá đó, nó nóng quá mình không không bỏ vừa bỏ đồ vô sẽ nó hư. Mình phải mở cái quạt máy nhỏ nhỏ thổi cho cái bánh nó hơi nguội chút xíu. À, ngồi chút xíu đặng rồi xong mình mới bỏ bỏ nhân bỏ cay vé bỏ bỏ sầu riêng yeah. úp lợm thì mới cắt ra thì rồi. nó sẽ để được lâu đây là rất là đặc biệt đúng rồi ở, ở Sài Gòn có nhiều bánh dừa nhưng không có bánh dừa lá dứa lá dứa dạ, 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 dạ đúng rồi rất là dạ. rất là đặc biệt ở đây rồi giờ bây giờ khách ta mấy khách khách mới cái trẻ sau này á bí tin tin đâu á nó yeah. có phải ăn lá dứa lắm yeah, đúng rồi. nhưng mà những người khách cũ hồi xưa ăn của chú là họ ăn toàn là truyền thống không yeah. bánh truyền thống là cái vỏ màu vàng á yeah. cái vỏ nó thơm người hột gà lắm yeah. ờ, người ta ăn ngon hơn nhưng mà bây ừ, giờ người ta chỉ chuộng cái lá dứa đúng rồi đúng rồi không biết không một ngày hả làm lá dứa hầu như là hai ba trăm cái luôn á yeah. mà bánh vỏ truyền thống chỉ có hai ba chục cái yeah. bây giờ nếu một ngày một ngày bán đâu biết rồi chứ bán bán bao nhiêu cái. Uh, nhưng mà cái. bữa nào mà đắt đông á là cũng cỡ 400 cái. 400. 400 cái. Còn trung bình là 200 mấy 300 cái vậy thôi. Nhiều lắm. Có cũng nhầm bữa đó. Đúng rồi. Dạ. Trời. Rất dạ. là rất là thú vị ở đây có có vị rất là rất là khác. Rất là thú vị. Nhiều rồi. Dạ, rất là nhiều vị ở đây. Đó là lý lý do tại sao chú có nhiều người mua. Ờ à, đúng. Không biết hả muốn được như vậy không có đơn giản đâu con chú phải phấn đấu dữ dội lắm á. À. Trải qua biết bao nhiêu thăng trầm, bao nhiêu gian nan là chú mới được ngày ngày na đó con. Dạ trải qua nhiều cực nhật lắm mà hồi xưa hồi xưa mà lúc mà mới ra bán cực lắm hồi xưa bán khó hả chứ trời cực lắm không biết hả cứ đẩy xe nha cứ đẩy đi bán đẩy khắp cùng đi khắp thành phố hồ chí minh đi khắp cùng luôn á bán đi khắp nơi đó có ở quận năm là chợ chợ hòa bình này nọ đồ vừa vừa đẩy vừa đẩy mà chứ phải vừa rau yeah. ai ăn bánh dừa đây yeah. bánh dừa đây trời cực lắm á con ơi chứ không có dễ gì đâu uh... chú nhưng mà chú sẽ cố gắng chú vượt qua hết yeah, chú cố gắng cố bây gắng. giờ con rất là nhiều trang cầu cố gắng phấn đấu mà cũng may mắn là ông trời ban cho chú bốn đứa con đứa nó cũng bước bốn đứa được ngoan hết yeah. đứa nào cũng chịu làm đứa nào cũng là tập trung lo làm ăn không à yeah. không, không biết hút thuốc không biết uống rượu không biết gì hết luôn á yeah. chỉ là tập trung với bố cùng với bố xây dựng cái sự nghiệp. Dạ yeah, đúng rồi. May mắn là con cái nó 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 ngoan. Được. Là mình có phước rồi. Dạ. Yeah. À con cái nó ngon cái nghe là là mình mừng mừng à. Chứ không phải đợi tới nó mà nó giàu nó có tiền cho mình nào. Được. Nó ngoan. Nó không có đi tụ ba tụ bảy, không có đi xì ke ma tí này nọ, nó không có đi ăn chơi, không có đi chơi bời này nọ là mình mừng lắm là được. Là khi mà là gia đình mình có phước. Dạ yeah, được. À, đó. Chỉ còn rồi. con cái nó ngoan là được. À, cảm ơn cô chú. Cảm ơn nhiều nha. Dạ dạ. Cảm ơn cảm ơn nhiều. Cảm ơn nhiều. Dạ. Hẹn gặp lại nha. Dạ hẹn gặp lại nha. Oh man, it was, I'm glad he came out. He is like the life and blood of this. I don't think this place would be anything without him, but... Cafe. Cafe. Okay, we're going to do a coffee shop now. Enjoy it. I just realized. Is this Chul? I think this is a picture of Chul here. They've, got, they've done so much new things in the past couple months. It's crazy how much this place has changed. Made it to a cafe outside 
you got the greenery, not too too much, and you got the best. You got the folding chairs. Gotta have the folding chairs. I just realized, I think this is Joel. He looks a little young in here, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. They have changed so much about this place. They've gotten so successful, especially in like the last year. And look at those flavors. So you got the, ooh, you can smell that durian right away. You got like that muscle. I still don't know how you even know how to translate that. Oh man. Yeah, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter action. If I fell out of it, it's because I've actually not had any coffee yet today. I've gotten embarrassingly addicted to Vietnamese coffee. So I still feel like I'm half asleep. Uh, okay. Now I can actually make a video. Ooh, it's so soft right here. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I think I gotta try the, the durian one first. Yeah, so when you selling your Almost choked on it. Now you see why you probably had to move into a location like that. The reason people are lining up is one bite. Man, so many people sell banyu like in Saigon. You'll see them like like when he started. They're pushing the carts or they're on intersections. But there's just something about this that's different, that's special, that has that that extra level of just richness and quality to it. Exactly. I mean, this is the first time I've I've ever seen peanut butter. Lần đầu tiên anh thấy có 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 bơ phồng. Lần đầu tiên đây là bơ phồng. Look at it. I've never seen. It sounds crazy because it's like, oh, I've, I've never seen this. I'm just kind of sorry. I'm flabbergasted. Oh, that's good. But I kind of want to try the peanut butter with the coconut because I got an idea. So here, this is actually, again, the peanut butter with the coconut. Damn. Buddy. I think this is, I think I know what this is going to be like. Uh, mm. Mm. That is the Vietnamese peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> and it, uh, butter. Butter. And it, uh, I want to try this one because this is the butter. Uh, 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 okay, so that's what it is. I, I gotta try this one. I, I've never seen anything like this before. And then the durian may be my favorite. I say there's something about them just fatty, fragrant, and they've worked together with all the other flavors. There's, so, there's like a bomb of flavor and fragrance going on in these. Okay, down here, District 8, we're actually not headed to the Cha, we're headed to the street right next to it over here. So this street is like Bun Rio or like uh, Can Bun, Any, anything kind of like that type of noodle is just aligned on the street. So we're going here. We're going for a very special one because they take the octopus. They don't have the op they don't have the snail, but they change that out with the octopus instead. And you see here it is. Typical, especially Saigon Street, right next to the market. You get all the food vendors from the market right here on the right. I bet you there's a lot of good food in here. It's just not on the it's not on the agenda for today. So there's all these different sellers, and we're gonna actually pick right here. I think because we can get a little bit off the street a little bit. Not anything there's wrong with being on the street. I just don't want to get run over right now. Oh, ship uh, here too. So here it is right here, the octopus. They don't do actual snails here. Something a little bit different in this area you get. Uh, so right here, this would be the octopus, that back door very very like popular in this area we're down here like I said district 
Okay, okay. 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 Uh, uh, okay. uh, uh, đây là mùi ký à, à, nhiều lắm cua. Cua. À. Wow. Uh, rất là hấp dẫn bao lâu rồi chị? trên hai năm rồi Look at this. There's just like Bunrio everywhere around here. We just picked one. That one down there is actually pretty busy right now. Yeah, yeah I don't think you can really go wrong at any of these though. So you can see right here, so actually we got like a pan in here. When you use like a bún rio, that's not going to have that noodle that's already soaked in that broth. But a can will always kind of be like in the broth right here, like bánh canh you always find the noodle in the broth. Plus, you'll notice the vegetables different. She got the ramung here and she got the also the water spinach up here. That's been actually cooked already. Or when you're eating bún rio, you'll have that that uncooked version. And here with the can, we're going to get that cooked down water spinach. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh. That's that way. So we got one. This is what a normal bowl looks like. And this is what a special video bowl looks like. Wow, look at their mum tom. It is like vibrant here. Look at that. Oh man, it's like neon purple. I mean, I know it's purple, but wow, that looks crazy. Oh, that man. Okay, look man. Okay. Look. Oh. Oh, chị gửi chuyên nghiệp. Oh, lots of lots of spices. She likes spicy here. Oh, those are the ratios you want. Yeah, em cảm ơn chị nha. Wow. À, kem thắt. Okay. Oh, look at this, I got huge, oh my gosh, I can't even move this around because everything's falling out. Big old pork knuckle. Uh, there's that boom. You can see the boom noodle is also smaller than the can. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's mix it out real quick. Look at that. She added so much chili, I'm so surprised. I didn't think she was going to add that much chili, but she went for it. Okay, I can get with that. Just get a little bit of noodle here. Oh. I like it. It's clean. It's light. It's fragrant. There's something very, very fragrant in it that's coming through it. And I like that you get this mixture with it. This is your power pack mixture right here. Like when you want the flavor, you dip it in this. But I think what's really special here you get this big old thing look at that how do you even <laughs> don't even know how to eat this without it cut up or anything oh my gosh I guess I'm just gonna whoa, get a little my little mixture here go in for it
this is this big, but it's cooked so darn well. It's perfectly cooked. It's not overdone. It's still got just that slight, soft, slight, slight, slight chew to it. It's so sweet by itself. Mmm. And right here, get some of that crab cake out of here. Look at that, look at that jiggle. Look how soft that is. The way she's cooked that real, there's so much egg in it, and it's almost like a steaming method. You know when you get those soft silken eggs and they, they jiggle like tofu or something? That's what this real's like. It's so soft, such a light texture. The pork and the crab have been ground so much that it's just such a fine texture. It's really just about that soft silken egg. To me, you need that freshness to the herb on top. The broth's got just a little more sweetness to it than probably most people will like. Mm. Everybody outside rolling in right now, all the grab bikes, everybody coming in. But one of the things I always look forward to, and the beauty of Saigon is almost no matter what bowl of noodles you get, you can get a pork knuckle with it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna my mixture here. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, the best part is everything gets thrown into the bowl. The actual broth to me is a little sweet. I think it'd be sweet for most people unless you have a taste for the South. But like I said, that just shows you the importance of having this right here. Mm. Come on, Sal. And you can tell it's getting close to big eating time. Look, she's coming through in here and she made it beautiful. She got all that octopus in here. She got her little chat ready to go. She got her pork knuckles back here. She got the fresh veg. She got it ready to go. It looks good. I'm gonna try to draw the people in. Cause when you go down here, they fighting to get your get your service. All right, come on. Ooh, so like I said, I think she's from Saigon. I forgot to ask, but like the broth, I'm gonna have the flavors of the South. A little sweet on the broth side especially because it had like a lot of caramelized shallot in it. I think that's what was giving that fragrance and that extra sweetness. Well, probably besides all the rock sugar, but another story. Anyways, we are headed back out. We're gonna keep the exploring going and we will catch you at the next one.